my friend Jill Garneski. You know her from Celebrity Soup. She found the restaurant for me. Now she's got something that she's gonna educate not only me, but you, my loyal viewers. Jill, what are we doing back in West Hollywood? Well, Peter, we're gonna find out about olive oil today. And not only does everyone love olive oil, but did you know that it's got wonderful health properties and it's also great for your skin? And I listen to KABC, your radio show, every Sunday night, and I know you love experts. I do like experts. I love experts. Why? Because we talk about wine, we talk about cheese, we talk about how they cut the beef when you go to a steakhouse. It's what my show is all about. Well, I have an expert for you. His name is Randy Hernandez, and he's going to take us inside Oleana, and we're going to find out what the expert says about olive oil. Let's find out more about olive oil. <laughs> Let's do own cheese shop one day, a wine shop one day. Yep, we all have friends that want to open a restaurant one day. An olive oil store? We're gonna find out. Randy Hernandez has opened an olive oil store. Before you tell me about all the great health benefits, Randy, tell me why an olive oil store? Well, Peter, it sounds like you guys really got the hang of it out there. But to start off, why an olive oil store? For me, it does have to do with the health benefits. And really, it's about bringing quality extra virgin olive oil to the conscious of American people here in America. Uh, we're talking about polyphenols, first of all. Polyphenols is your antioxidants. So some of my products here, example from my southern hemisphere from Chile, has a 660 polyphenol. So those high polyphenols is really all the good fats that the body needs. So let's go take a walk over here and I can show you a couple products. Doing the research on olive oil, I found that all of the health benefits that are attributed to olive oil that I really wasn't aware of. Now I knew there were some health benefits to it, good for your heart, good for your skin, and I started researching even more. We also want to talk about fatty acid count. It's all about the fruit of the olive being pressed without bruising. So we're not taking our olives from the floor, we're taking it from the tree and we're pressing it as quick as possible to keep that freshness of the olive oil. We're going to taste together Butter EV olive oil. Okay, you get to taste it when you come in. Bottoms up. I feel better already. This is the one I'm gonna buy. Come down here, pick up the olive oil. Peter, you got it. That's exactly how we do it here at Oleana. So come on down and try our fusion line or olive oil from all over the world and also our 15 different flavors of balsamic vinegar. Come on in and we'll fill the bottle for you today. You know I love my fun food facts, so I've got a question for you about olive oil. Are months and years crucial for the expiration dates on olive oil? Darn right it is. The harvest date is crucial for determining the shelf life in months of extra virgin olive oil. Why? Well, the shelf life could determine if it loses the health benefits and the phenos might deteriorate with age. So the answer is yes, it is very important to check the harvest date of the virgin olive oil. So at our tasting bar here, we have different bottles of olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and what we do for customers is that we, we mix them together. We do a 50-50 mix to show the customer how balsamic vinegar and olive oil goes together. Not just for salads, but for putting it on fruit, putting it on ice cream, putting it on pancakes, and even popcorn. So here we have our balsamic vinegar tasting bar to come for customers to come and try whenever they feel like trying something new, basil, coconut, dark chocolate and roasted walnut oil, sesame and honey ginger, and also lemon and chocolate. I found something very interesting on my own here. You've got a chart here, I don't know, 15, 20 names that I'm pretty familiar with that, that package their own olive oil. What do we got here? Correct, Peter. This is the UC Davis report that comes out yearly, and the International Olive Council has testing for all products imported into the United States. What this chart shows of major companies here that claim to have extra virgin olive oil that are failing testing, and they are virgin. A lot of these things go with becoming a virgin olive oil. There's a lot of mixing of products, mixing old oil with new oil, which deteriorates the product as a whole and this is causing the virgin to come through here with this testing. So what we want are, when we're looking at a place like yours, extra virgin olive oil. Correct. Single pressed, cold pressed, extra virgin olive oil from the tree to the mill. No other impurities in it. If that's a little complicated, don't worry. 
Randy can tell you in layman's terms, just come on into the shop. Yes, absolutely. <laughs>